Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to something pretty unordinary uh, for me. This is Ultra Kill. No damage, violent difficulty, P rank. I don't know if I'd call this a walkthrough, but this is something that I've kind of had in my head for a while. I'm like, man, it'd be really cool if I did that, but I don't know, man. And I eventually just decided to say, fuck it and do it. And I'm glad I did. This is a challenge run. As you can obviously see, the challenge here is to no damage, P rank. That's the, the biggest, those two factors have made some of these missions very difficult to do. And just so we're clear, because this is no challenge territory and I'm not a challenge runner by any means, I'm just going to be upfront. This is segmented. What I mean by that is I have done all of the missions individually. So all of the missions in the prelude, act one and layer four, I have done them all one at a time to get them no damage P rank and put them all together into this one video because I've seen people do like, oh, all of the prelude, all of the bosses of act one, V2 fight two, you know, all of those no damage P rank, but I haven't seen someone do maybe someone has and i just haven't seen it yet which if that's the case no insult to you bro i just haven't seen it i'm sorry youtube's algorithm is very dog shit i think we all pretty much know that by now but i haven't seen someone do something like this where i do all the missions back to back violent no damage p rank and put them all into one video and this is less of a thing to prove my worth or to enter the challenge run sphere and more of a fun project for me to do. Uh, you can blame Chris, the Seraphim 17 for that. Uh, <laughs> he has inspired me to do something along this, uh, along those lines. And as you can see there, zero one into the fire, done and done. Violent, no damage P rank. On to zero two, the meat grinder. But yeah, Chris, Seraphim 17. I've been watching him for a little less than a year now i want to say i forget when i started watching him maybe it's been like seven or eight months or some shit like that and it's crazy that i've never known of this guy because once again i just mentioned youtube's algorithm is dog shit and doesn't actually show you things you're interested in and he's been doing youtube videos for like over 10 years at this point a little bit and i've never never seen a video recommended from him never seen anything like it Granted, my taste 10 years ago and even five years ago were a lot more generic, shall we say. But even then, I'm surprised I've never seen anything from him. And I'm glad that I found him because there's a lot of content for me to go through. And his streams are very hilarious as well. And one of the things he does is challenge runs, gameplay walkthroughs, hard difficulties, you know, those type, that type of shit and i've been watching them and i'm like you know what i want to try and do it just to, just to shake things up one it's a nice challenge a lot of fun to do even if very frustrating at times and two i've done everything in this <laughs> in this fucking game i have all the p ranks and all the difficulties i also have it on p1 soul survivor and i'm out of things to do until layer five speaking of that zero two the meat grinder is done no damage those first two missions relatively easy not too difficult this was the first road bump for me. Zero three double down. Uh, you're actually going to be seeing this or I'm going to be mentioning this a lot. The fact that a couple of these missions, I was like, all right, I'm going to do it this way. And then I was stuck and I thought, what if I change this one thing? As you can see me, fuck that jump. Fuck, fuck the boost up pretty terribly right there. This mission was a bit of a road bump and that was because I was trying to fight the swords machine normally. So the room I just skipped there, if you haven't played this game, that's when you fight the swords machine because normally you don't have the shotgun right away. You only have the revolver. However, when you fight phase one of the swords machine, he drops his shotgun. Well, when I was trying to do this mission, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna try and do it normally. And then I kept getting hit because the room that you fight, the first room you fight the swords machine in, or I should say phase one of the swords machine, it's very small. It's a very small room. And I was getting clipped by the shotgun consistently. So at one point I thought, all right, I'm just going to skip that fight and then fight him here. 
as he spawns in and i missed that screwdriver i'm still pissed about it obviously not a big deal because i beat him clearly but yeah this fight you just got to make sure you stay mobile stay away from the shotgun because that's that's your main threat the sword not really that huge of a threat as long as you can see him and dodge out of the way but the shotgun constantly clipping you that's what was annoying me as you can see we already got him down to a second phase this uh phase is a lot easier considerably that being said he is now throwing his sword instead of just swinging it around so you do have to be careful about that but i'm able to land a couple screwdrivers you know drain his health pretty considerably combining dashing and uh, sliding which is pivotal for a couple uh moments later on in the game i also apologize for saying my uhs and ums i'm not great with commentary i apologize and just like that zero three double down he's done violent p rank no damage i'm probably gonna be saying that a lot i apologize zero four a one machine army once again this mission not too difficult i don't say that to brag some of these missions i did in a couple attempts uh some of these missions I was stuck on for like three hours so i will definitely tell you which ones i was stuck on and which ones were relatively easy and as you can see i kind of waited there just a little bit and that's because i'm going to be doing something i like to call using the malicious face and killing all those people instantly you'll also be seeing me kind of play like a coward in certain instances and that's because the no damage requirement is the obvious top priority if this was just a p rank run then the amount of damage I take doesn't really matter. I mean, it technically does, but I could get hit and still get the P rank. But doing no damage, your mentality has to change because now it's not, oh, I can just style and do everything. It's now, okay, I have to position myself way more specifically because I can't take damage. That's the whole point of the challenge is to not take damage. And yeah, zero four, this mission, pretty simple, I think one maybe two attempts zero four one machine army is done and this one zero five cerberus once again this was a little bit of a road bump and another example of when i changed my strategy i won well maybe not you know what i mean i changed my strategy and then the first attempt i i uh, i try with the new strategy ends up winning so the strategy that I originally wanted to do was to try and kill them both at the same time. Uh, as you can also see me try to do a speed run strat. I don't know if it works as well as it used to anymore. If you see me do a strat and fuck it up, it's probably because I haven't actually done it. And I'm just, you know, going off of what I'm thinking of doing instead of actually doing it right. So keep that in mind. But uh, my strategy was to try and get them both down and kill them both at the same time. However, I kept getting clipped by the explosion. You know, they'd throw the bomb and they'd kill and fucking hit me. So I thought, all right, I'm just gonna take one down and then take the other down. And speaking of going down, we are now going down to layer one, zero five Cerberus is done. As soon as I change my strategy, I do it. You're gonna see, you're gonna see me say that a lot. As we move on to one, one heart of the sunrise. This layer is pretty cool. I really like this layer. Also not too difficult. At least I don't remember. Uh, actually, no, that's a lie. One of them was an extreme pain in the ass and made me almost quit this project, but we'll get there. This is not one of them. This is one, one heart of the sunrise. Pretty simple for the most part. Uh, nothing too complicated, nothing too complex. You do have, obviously you have this long corridor. That's not, I wouldn't say claustrophobic, but not very wide to say the least so got to be careful to make sure especially the drones and i forget the name of those enemies the gray dudes with no heads projectile enemies so you got to make sure that you're not going to get clipped by any of them and then we got the malicious face just instantly fucking <laughs> just instantly taken down from the grenade into rail cannon combo which is sick as fuck here we got the nail cannon well, I've had the nail cannon, but it, in game, this is where you get the nail cannon and nail gun, not nail cannon. It's rail cannon and nail gun. I get that shit confused. Anyway, speaking of the rail cannon, rail gun, shut up. You know what I mean? It's rail gun and nail gun. I don't know why I'm saying cannon. You know, I don't know why I'm saying cannon. 
okay shut up <laughs> this part obviously you got to be aware of those two drones because you're not not careful though nope. it's like hey what's up bitch uh take some free damage this room once again nothing too complicated you gotta keep moving these four enemies will spawn right here go ahead and take them down with style and moving on to the end of the mission and it doesn't matter how good you are you're always gonna fuck up getting those skulls this room once again also i thought it'd be a little more difficult thankfully not you know you got to be using a lot of your movement abilities and your movement options combining your slides with your dashes and like i said some of the areas and especially some of the bosses you need to be aware of that when you do it pick items up with the f key clearly that has not been addressed it has not been considered that when you pick up a skull or an item with the whiplash the text does not go away but that'll get patched out not a big deal pick items up with that one one heart of the sunrise is done overall pretty simple nothing too complicated for the most part anyway and we move on to one two the burning world uh maybe a little more difficult i don't have too many memories of frustration with this one maybe a couple restarts but nothing too crazy you see the there's a room that i thought was going to give me a lot of trouble and ended up not giving me as much trouble as i thought now there was a room later on specifically the room at the end of this mission that gave me some trouble but nothing too crazy obviously so jump up here make your way over towards the door up there take out those three bad guys over there this room gotta throw that coin to make sure i killed all the enemies this room i thought was going to give me a lot of trouble and it turns out it really didn't just combine the knuckle blaster with the good old shotgun boosting which you will see a lot by the way if you haven't our if you haven't seen already a lot of shotgun boosting uh, a lot of wannabe tech like speed run tech that i don't exactly know how to do but like vaguely know how to do and some of it's probably been patched out or maybe nerfed to some degree but you'll be seeing me attempt to do that this room i thought wasn't i thought it was gonna give me a lot of trouble and it didn't and now the street cleaners street cleaners street sweepers whatever their name is the flame dudes with the backpacks that you shoot with the rail cannon not the rail cannon well technically you can shoot them with the rail cannon but the alternate revolver variant uh the the coin variant specifically and just kill them like that it's a lot of fun this room gave me quite the trouble not this part but this part so many enemies the drones all these enemies throwing projectiles at you as you can see i'm just going crazy just doing everything within my power to not take damage and to not get hit and i almost got hit a couple times but thankfully you just take those guys out and these assholes are pretty self-explanatory hit them like that and we are done one two the burning world done and done pretty simple pretty simple role simple overall i would say now this fucking mission is a fucking bitch this took me like what two and a half three hours to attempt multiple sessions it was a bitch look if if the first couple missions that i had trouble with were like road bumps this is a mountain in comparison and you'll be seeing how long this took me to do in just a second because i clear these guys out it uh, excuse me is that the new model for the fucking for the for the nail gun yeah it is because in good old fucking appropriate fashion when i was in the middle of doing this the saw your heart update came out which featured i believe the new texture for the shotgun but the new model specifically the new model for the nail gun and i don't know if the nail gun got buffed i don't think it did it feels a little stronger now but that might just be placebo so yeah if you needed any more proof that this is segmented other than my word for it and the obvious transitions then there you go uh i love the new design of the nail gun by the way it looks fucking sick and it looks amazing i love it this room once again just bring out the coin variant of the uh the revolver take those enemies out this malicious face up here gave me a lot of grief but i'm going to be 
playing like a bitch because once again the key of this is to take no damage and if i can bitch my way out of a tough situation for the sake of getting the no damage as long as i can get the p rank i will absolutely do it this room's a lot of fun i've you know played in this room a lot attempting to do this and i still love fighting in this room very fun room to fight in you know i take that back it's just a very fun game in general even when i was getting frustrated at uh v2 fight one and two because v2 is bullshit it's very difficult and we got the cerberus over here and i don't think this is intentional but if you stand over here for some reason cerberus is just like nah dude I, I i'm not gonna i don't see anymore i'm out of his line of sight this room maybe not so much fun to fight specifically because you got some malicious faces and then these street cleaners over here which are annoying go ahead and end up here we got these drones uh i am missing a lot you'll be seeing a lot of me missing as well that was very risky i almost took damage there and if i took damage there i was gonna be pissed once again deploy the i'm gonna run like a little bit strat and hide around a corner just for the sake of not taking any damage use the nail not the nail gun the rail gun nail rail it's very confusing very similar words even though they are completely different try to take out both the drones at the same time i only took out one but i'll take one you know i didn't take damage so that's all good just try and stay above the street cleaner over here and this is kind of what i mean if uh the nail gun got any buffs maybe i you know looking back at the footage i think i used the whatever the variant is that lets you put a nail into an enemy because that's what i did and Malicious face died very quickly. So thank God for that. We got these enemies over here. I don't remember all of their names, so I do apologize. Apologize about that. And I tried to do a nice strat where I shot a grenade from the shotgun into that room with all those street cleaners because there's three of them. And I thought, oh, I can get a lot of damage on them early on if I just do that. Combine the the shotgun grenade with the malicious face uh, variant of the rail cannon, which is a giant explosion because you combine both of those and you get an extreme explosion. Well, I wasn't fast enough since I have to mash three. I have to mash my three key three times and I wasn't able to do it and plus knocked it away. Uh, you can see me trying to do that strat again. It kind of like the speed run strat. It kind of worked, I think. And this is what I mean. Look at how much damage I am putting out with the fucking nail cannon. G nail gun, not cannon. I don't know why I keep saying nail cannon. I don't know. I apologize about that. Hideous Mask gave me a little more trouble than it probably should have, but nothing too difficult. Well, I say that. I can say that now. One, three, Halls of Sacred Remains, done and done. Fuck that mission. That mission was a bitch. This mission was also a pain in the ass. And once again, a fantastic example of, <laughs> of changing my strategy, just doing one thing differently this time, and then it happened to work. As you can see, I'm taking these pillars out, and I'm taking these pillars out because the amount of times I got caught on them was bullshit. Try and get an early start with the coins into rail cannon, rail gun. You know what I mean? Shut up. <laughs> Look. Like I said, my commentary isn't amazing, but I do appreciate you for sticking by if you've made it this far. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just keep keep on the move. Just do everything within your power. Combine your slides, combine your dashes, and just like that, V2, done and done. Throw some taunts with the quick switching of the shotgun. Go ahead and get down one floor. Claire did... <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. So uh, my mic was accidentally on when recording that. I normally have it muted, but I uh, my mic was not muted and it caught me laughing in the background because i'm like dude i changed one i changed one thing and then i win so i decided to keep that in i thought about muting it but that was funny funny to keep that in uh what i didn't want to keep in is this Ooh, look this is you know this mission took a couple attempts as well and i had much better uh, runs here and jesus christ maybe not the best play but hey this is you know i'm kind of pissed because you know, Chris, Seraphim17, has said multiple times, you know, I did some cool shit 
on one run, but because I took damage, you don't get to see the footage. And the times where I fuck up and look like a dumbass is the one you get to see. And that's kind of, you know, one of those instances of like the amount of times I've done some cool shit there and you don't get to see it. I still have the footage, I'm pretty sure. So maybe I can use it for something else. Maybe. Ultra kill combo mad. I'm not good enough for that. Well, I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, 2-1 bridge burner. Layer 2, fucking sick aesthetic overall. I mean, this entire game has changed its aesthetic and it's pretty cool. So you can see me uh, attempting to do that speedrun strat and then the Cerberus just yeeting itself off the, <laughs> off the ledge. Pretty fun to do that, especially in Cybergrind. Gonna be moving up here with the malicious base uh, variant of the rail cannon and send those bitches asunder. Just stay up here and just shoot at them below because once again, not taking any damage not taking any damage those drones spawn just two you know man the the coin the coins super strong super strong two coins four dead enemies you love to see it and if you're wondering why i have the tab over here up just so that way i can see my time and my styles and my kills this mission specifically is the reason why i wanted to do it in the first place one i think it's just cool to see but two when i was trying to p rank this mission many moons ago multiple times i didn't get the p rank because i would miss an enemy and i'm like what the fuck it annoyed me and then i realized that this tab i don't know if you'd call this a tab this like a uh, score keeper score tracker when i found out it exists i'm like oh i'm just gonna use that then and as you can see i almost missed that uh street cleaner right there i almost missed him but because i had this little score uh, tab open realized I missed one went back to kill him 2-1 bridge burner is done no damage P rank pretty fun mission overall 2-2 two, two, death at 20,000 volt this one was a little bit of a bitch it was a little bit of a bitch just we're we're slowly getting towards the territory of more enemies and more variety of enemies different combinations of enemies just we're First off, more enemies, more enemies to kill for the P rank and more enemies that can damage you. Second of all, different types of combinations and some of them are more annoying than others, let's just say. And yeah, uh, I fucked that up. Normally I stand right at the edge and then kill one of the, I once again, I don't know their name, so I apologize, but the uh, white and blue projectile enemies I kill one of them, put a rail cannon into rail gun into the malicious face. And normally that gives me a good advantage, but I fucked up and dropped down below the ledge. This room, a little bit of a bitch to do as well. You got some street cleaners and you got some drones. So bring out the coin variant of the revolver and kill those enemies. And the one thing I love about this game even though I'm doing this restriction, this challenge run, you can still do cool shit like this. Like how fucking sick is that? You just flick to the coin, you then blast that motherfucker right in the face with a shotgun after you parried your own shotgun pellets. This game is sick. This game is fucking sick. And that's all I have to say right now. This fight or uh, this area, I should say, not that frustrating. I actually had more difficulties with the first two areas then i actually had this one at least i think i don't remember this area giving me too much frustration gotta kill that drone make sure they're all dead i don't like this room i mean it's just a couple filths right but guess what always happens there's always one and i miss he almost hit me like twice and i swear to god i'm i'm afraid i'm afraid to get hit i'm afraid to get hit especially because i swear to god those those filths man very annoying to deal with sometimes i mean obviously you just keep your distance and everything's fine but sometimes they just lunge at you and you you can't react too late it's too late and also if the appearance of the old uh nail gun isn't obvious some of these missions were done out of order because one was it was it hall of sacred remains i believe it was one three yeah one three that mission that was bitching about was so annoying to me that I eventually just skipped that mission and then went back to it at a later time. And that's when the Saw Your Heart update came out. This, uh, 
great mission best theme in act one in my opinion at least my favorite one panic betrayer uh best song in my opinion uh at least in terms of act one act one is super great a lot of fun song great song great song for a great game for a pretty great mission overall i'd say this mission we will encounter the mind flare and once again i had a strategy going in and it wasn't really working and then i changed one thing about the strategy and then it worked first time i tried the new strategy and i will tell you that strategy later on and just that room get the blue skull drop down here kill all of those enemies with the malicious face just let them bundle up kill them all with one pull of the trigger so much fun dude it's so satisfying so satisfying this room is also pretty fun to fight in a lot of these rooms are pretty fun to fight in for the most part i'm really excited for layer five because i mean it's a it's water based right wrath is going to be based around water and normally water levels fucking suck at least that's the mantra you hear at least i've heard for years it's like fuck water levels water levels suck because i'm too slow and it sucks being slow and i'm like yeah it sucks being slow fuck water levels right but i'm thinking to myself how are they going to do water levels in this game but the problem is i'm looking at the footage that they've shown and i'm like this still looks fun as shit what the hell and here we'll be seeing the mind flare first interaction with the mind flare you can still insta kill the mind flare actually you'll be seeing that in 3-1 later on i figured out that see because i thought the mind flare could no longer be insta killed but you can it's just the timing is tighter which makes sense i'll talk about that later but here's the strategy wait just like two seconds and then let the screwdriver come back so that way i can do the exact same thing to this mind flare kill her pretty much instantly for the most part kill her pretty quick because the couple times i managed to get here i didn't wait for the screwdriver to come back uh out of cooldown and because of that the mind flare would move and hit me so the one strategy that i changed was simply put wait just like two seconds and everything will be good and with that two three sheer heart attack is done this mission is pretty easy I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. It's not that hard. I thought it'd be a little more frustrating. Just a little bit. This took me like two attempts. Not to brag, but you know, it's a pretty easy mission overall. The only reason I didn't get it my first attempt was because I tried to swag on uh, Minos. And it didn't work. I tried to parry one of the fists. I fucked up the timing and just said, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead, play it safe and not try and parry and then just play you know play passive and play like a bitch speaking of playing passive and playing like a bitch this is a strat i like to call staying the fuck away from the hand because there's no reason to get close to it when you're trying to not take damage because those shock waves move faster than you think and there's no reason to get close to them so just do this and get rid of the hand pretty quickly you know pop a screwdriver into the fist put some nails into him some shotgun boosts and he's dead just like that i fucked up the timing for the slide bunny hop i am sorry about that i'm sorry man i'm not i'm not i'm not the most amazing player i'm sorry about that this is more of a passion project than anything but yeah whatever get the red skull put the red skull down onto the red pedestal the floor breaks not the floor that is not the floor there's the ceiling you fucking dumbass the corpse of king minos and once again i've taken the liberty to just not try and parry and just dodge instead and would you look at that the time where i just decide to dodge instead of parry is the time i win crazy who would have thought you do got to be careful of that orb right there that sort of orb of the void because it will not only damage you but then drop you down to one hp and then one max hp if you're on violent so that's awesome so you got to keep that in mind as you're moving around it does move pretty slow and it does have an audio cue so you can hear when it's near you it's like this low rumbling vibration so pretty easy to spot pretty easy to tell and with that two four court of the corpse king the corpse of king minos is dead pretty simple pretty easy nothing home nothing too big to write home about that's the phrase i wanted to say this mission is a fucking bitch 
three one belly of the beast this mission can fucking go to hell this mission took me way it took me a long time as you can see you can still insta kill the mind flare which is cool because i thought they got rid of it if you don't know the the technique or the tech i should say well it's the same thing or one shotting the mind flare when the mind flare brings her arms down and summons those uh blue orbs originally you could there was a very lenient timing where any explosion like shotgun boosting the grenade launcher of the shotgun or the malicious uh the malicious face variant of the railgun any explosion would send those orbs I don't know if like back into her or cause them to explode and killing her instantly in an update it was changed so that way I guess the insta kill was still there but it's a much stricter timing and now with the much more lenient timing that you would that you originally had now the orbs just fly away which is the right thing to do because the ability to just insta kill it wasn't hard to insta kill her it really wasn't you got the timing down it was pretty fair and pretty lenient and then you could just kill her instantly and with this change they still reward you for being tight on the timing for the insta kill but they give you like okay you didn't get the timing perfectly but we're still going to reward you by sending those blue orbs away from you and they won't track you so that's the proper balanced way to do it anyways 3-1 belly of the beast this <laughs> this mission man uh the hallway with that malicious face a bitch to do a lot of attempts where i'd get clipped and have to start over again this room not too terrible well i say that in retrospect at the time it was annoying you just got to take care of the drones because the street sweep, street sweepers street cleaners i'm sorry you know you just got to focus on the drones and then you'll be good for the most part focus on the drones and those i don't know why i want to call them stalkers they're not stalkers there is another enemy called the stalker in there the sand boys focus on the other two enemies the drones and those white and blue projectile enemies and then you'll be pretty good to go for the most part just gotta make sure to stay mobile and in the air those malicious face take the one that's on there's three of them two of them are on one side of the room and one's on the other take the one on the take the one on the one side of the room and then fight the two later on you know what i mean you have a brain you can think this room also a bitch got here a couple times and this uh mind flare was an annoying bitch to deal with was able to get the screwdriver in wasn't able to insta kill her this time but it didn't matter as soon as i heard her scream i knew that this was my time finally the suffrage was finally done and with that 3-1 belly of the beast is done this mission took way longer than i expected it to and so did this one 3-2 in the flesh this mission really taught me hey man you should probably time your dashes and slides together because at this point I had just been dashing and not really thinking about using the slide and this mission this fight fight with Gabriel really tells you that hey maybe you should incorporate some sliding instead of dashing and then save your dashes for certain moves and once again this mission took you know a little longer than maybe i'd like to admit but it was a difficult mission overall start the fight out pretty strong with the combining the railgun and the blue railgun specifically and the coins doing that strat as soon as you get them down just do just do this get them down to right now just instantly down to half hp I was super lucky to get that screwdriver and this move specifically these these moves the fact that he can teleport around is where you need to start incorporating your slides into your dashes because the amount of times I got clipped when he's teleported to me is ridiculous <laughs> as you can see I'm, I'm, I, this took me a, a little while and I've you know it's basically taunting on Gabriel because I was pissed and the fact that I did it I was pretty happy so now instead of skipping the cutscene I am just going to uh taunt Gabriel pretty effectively love that taunt just move my mouse around just 
<laughs> it's a lot of fun. I really like doing that. Three, two in the flesh is done. Now we move on to layer four. This mission, easy. This is my second attempt. It took me two attempts. And the only reason it took me two attempts is because I got to the final encounter and then got cocky and then fucked up. This mission is pretty easy for the most part. It's not that difficult. You know, just dealing with these enemies out here. This mission, we get introduced to this enemy, which is the... I forget your name right now, and I don't know why. But we save the rail cannon, so that way we do that, because those enemies die in one hit to the blue rail cannon. And that's great to know. Rail gun, they die in one hit to the rail gun, and that's great to know. Save that. So that way you kill both of those enemies at once. They aren't that difficult or annoying of enemies by themselves. They're one of those enemies where they're annoying when you're fighting multiple enemies at the same time because you have to prioritize them. Because if you don't, you got all these light beams coming down around the arena and it's annoying. You can see I try to do the same thing there where I try to line them both up and you know, one pull the trigger, they die. Didn't work unfortunately and that was just fucking horrendous i probably should have got hit there for how horrendous that was i was like for some reason i just thought to myself yeah i'm gonna shoot this psalm bitch drone with the with the grenade yeah hell yeah and then for some reason last second i'm like no wait maybe i should just go for the other guy and then just completely whiffed and ended up hitting no one is it, it was bad it was not very pretty but of course you don't get to see all the cool shit or some of the cool shit that I did. You only get to see the parts where I fuck up like that, which is not necessarily true. I've done a lot of cool shit already. At least I think I'm very proud of what I've done here. That's, that's what mad is, man. I like what I did. God damn it. Go over here, just get the get those filths all crumpled up and just send them asunder. God. So, so much explosions. Malicious face spawns here. Put a rail cannon right in his face send him to hell and this is where we also get introduced to the power up akimbo hell yeah or dual wielding i guess i should say is that really akimbo or dual wielding because you can pick up fucking four and you're gonna have four weapons at a time which is ridiculous and i will be using that later on to fight sisyphian insurrectionist you'll be seeing that and then we got those enemies over here once again i i apologize for not remembering a lot of these names I do apologize about that, but you know what I mean. You know what they look like and you know how to deal with them. At least I'm assuming you do. This is the room and this is the encounter where I fucked up and got hit the one time I did this mission. I was trying to be fancy and doing some, some coin chaining and I ran out of coins and stamina and then got hit. But anyways, 4-1, slaves to power. Pretty simple, pretty simple mission overall, right? Maybe the rest of this will be pretty easy. Absolutely fucking not. 4-2, 4-3, and 4-4 four, four. took me like three and a half hours each to do. And I don't know why. Just extremely frustrating missions. And I think it's just because so there are so many enemies and the way they're laid out, so many chances to just get hit by a projectile. And I've done this beginning part so many goddamn times. It has become ingrained into my brain with how many times I've had to attempt to do this shit. Kill all those enemies. We got the malicious face over here. Grab him. Fly back up. Pretty cool overall. This part, not too annoying. You just gotta obviously be careful. This is where we're introduced to the stalker. These pretty frail, fragile enemies, but they're carrying like containers of sand and uh, sorry for that stutter. As you saw, the tutorial at the beginning of this stage says that enemies that are, you know, covered in sand don't bleed. And those enemies, when they die, when you kill them, explode sand. Well, not only, <laughs> not only do they explode sand, but they also damage you. That was fun to find out. And once again, we're going to wait here just so that way I can get this rail cannon charge back wait for the malicious face to fire its laser fire in your laser that was that was a fucking callback jesus christ 
And yeah, just go ahead, go up here, take care of this asshole. Make sure you don't get clipped by a drone. That's happened too many times to count. Stay away from the stalkers. Stay away. Just stay away. Stay away from every enemy and then just shotgun boost into their faces and then pray to God that they die. That's kind of the strat I've been doing here. Obviously with a little bit more movement involved. But yeah, we got all those enemies killed. Grab the red skull. And if you're wondering why I went this way instead of the blue skull, the other way, just I found that side to be way more difficult. So I just wanted to get it out of the way first. It doesn't matter which skull you go for first. So, you know, do whatever side you feel comfortable with. You know what I mean? We go over here. This room isn't that terrible. It is a little more claustrophobic, obviously, because it has walls. It's not, you know, outdoors. So just got to keep that in mind. And going over here, I'm just honestly amazed that I didn't. I'm honestly amazed I didn't take any damage and just moving over here stand as mobile as I can to not get hit by I'm not worried about the blue enemies those those assholes I'm not worried about them at all I'm worried about the malicious face because those are the ones that I'm more likely to take damage by and done and done got the blue skull and while I'm going over to the blue skull while I'm going over to the blue pedestal my apologies I'm gonna be picking up these uh power-ups because as you can see I now have four weapons it's a neat little thing you can do in this game and it will be important it's important to actually get the challenge in this mission which is to kill this guy the Sisyphean insurrectionist in is it like 10 or 8 seconds or some shit like that I'm gonna try and do some strat like that I kind of fucked it up and just keep it pretty simple just a lot of shotgun boosting a lot of nail guns you know just all at once and I'm actually amazed that I managed to do this for 4-2 when I did because I took a break and then came back and then did it first try or at least that session so that was a lot of fun to do this mission also a pain I didn't think it would be that difficult and end up being more frustrating than I thought mostly I'd say the second encounter the second room after this one and the final room were just you had to fight so many enemies different types of enemies a lot of projectiles and very annoying to say the least to be going over here and take out the malicious face and then just bam one click all those enemies dead like that super fun to do go ahead slide down here just so that way you know it's a lot of, it's it's fun to just sit down and slide and if you're wondering why I didn't grab there is a how did I not get hit there? I'm amazed by that. Honestly, I'm that's pure skill right there, baby. Totally not <laughs> luck at all. Just fantastic positioning on my part. I'm pretty sure I'm honestly amazed I didn't get hit there, but there is a power up, you know, uh, above the ceiling. There's a room above the ceiling. You ride those pillars up and it takes you there. It's the, one of the dual wield abilities, power ups. And for some reason, I didn't think to grab it. I don't know. I should, I'm just like, no, I don't need it. I probably should have grabbed it. But hey, you know what? It, it would really only help me for this room. And maybe I just didn't think I really needed it for this room. I guess I don't really know. I have my ego. My ego is starting to talk. And the Cerberus in this room is fucking bullshit. The amount of times the Cerberus has gone through a pillar to throw one of those fucking orbs at me to hit me is fucking bullshit. Like the animation clips through the pillar and his the fucking orb he shoot he throws goes through the pillar. It's 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 so bullshit. He hit me like that and I was I was pissed. I had to take a break. I had to like just think about that for a couple hours. Just go back. Ridiculous. But yeah, 44 total kills so far. C rank. We got the S in time and style. Pretty good over there kill this dude thankfully the Cerberus can't hit you from I don't think he can throw one of his orbs through those pillars I think it's too small of a gap I think I don't know but thankfully doesn't hit me just completely throws to the wall I juke his ass and this room was a bitch to say the least I'm honestly amazed that I was able to do with this attempt just just instantly get rid of that enemy get rid of the street cleaners just 
Get rid of all of them. Get rid of all of them. Get rid of all of them. As soon as I saw the opportunity to strike and take out the malicious face, I did just that. You know, the malicious faces here are definitely the most, you know, their number one priority. The drones, I'd say, are probably second. Actually, you know what? Street cleaners are probably up there as well. But there's only like two or three of them in this mission. So thankfully, once you get rid of them, uh, you don't have to deal with them anymore. Well, I shouldn't say in this mission, in this area, I should say. You can see I'm completely ignoring, maybe not completely ignoring, but I'm, I'm balancing the enemies in this room and the blue spherical angelic assholes which i am drawing a blank on their name i swear to god i knew i knew their name and i'm like what the fuck's their name i probably should have written like a notepad down whatever don't worry it's fine i was amazed to do it this attempt because once again i sat on it for a couple hours came back to it and managed to do it four three a shot in the dark and here we get to the bitch four four claire de Soleil. I don't speak French. I'm sorry about that. This mission was a bitch. This mission sort of ingrained the idea into my head of kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Something that's kind of been popping into my head in general with this run. Just keep it simple. Stop trying to do some fancy shit. Just do what works. And for hours, I was trying to do fancy shit to try and get as much damage as I could. And I wasn't able to. And so just once again, kind of keep distance is the most important part for this encounter and if you know what this is this like i don't know i think it's enraged like an enraged meter if you could tell me how that triggers because i assume you do a lot of damage in a certain amount of time and it triggers but i don't know so if someone could explain that to me that would be very nice the first part of that fight first phase annoying as hell this phase extremely simple the couple hours it took me to do this it was all on phase one phase two as you can see very simple because he can't move throw a coin in the air just to make sure that he didn't throw one before he died because that can happen i have experienced that before so just make sure that if he does throw a coin last second that you're able to shoot it down when you do that get over here kill the filth <laughs> not gonna lie i was kind of nervous that i would fuck it up so I didn't mean to use the rail rail gun there, but I fucked up and it was extremely nervous. And jump over there, drop down, slide down. There we go. 4-4, four, four, Claire de Solelli. I don't speak French. I'm sorry about that. I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you watching for as long as you have. Thank you for your time. If you like this, like, sub, all that YouTuber shit. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully I can do this with layer five and I'll see you all later. Peace.